What's up mga guys? Magandang umaga. Tanghali man o gabi. Tang sulok ka man na ron sa mundong ibabaw na ito. Papaparinig ko lang sa inyo guys itong uh, interview kay Cybercrime Chief Victor Lorenzo. Alamin natin kung ano ang kanyang sinasabi. Um, Chief Victor Lorenzo po. Go ahead, please. Hi, Chief Vic. How are you? Good afternoon. Hi, Trish. Yes, Good sir. Afternoon. Sir, um, because uh, a clarification lang, sir, about this, uh, your, about the previous statement. You mentioned, sir, that there was a denial of service attack. Um, do we acknowledge, sir, that there is really a group behind this? Because there is a group. Cyber PH Human Rights um, claiming that they're behind this and uh, they're warning that they will be launching more attacks in the coming days. Are we prepared for this or how are we going to make sure, sir, that for example, there are specific government sites that hold um, information, may mga data po silang hawak um, ng mga iba-ibang ng, ng mga individuals. No? So how are we going to protect the, the data and other government sites from these attacks? Um. Trisha, the, the ICT is doing the uh, proper attribution right now. And if you will remember, Trish, in 2012, there were massive uh, attacks on government, government websites. And we addressed this by arresting a very um, uh, very notorious hacker at that time. Kaya nag-subside, di ba, yung attacks before sa government, web, government website. And this is the, going to be our approach also. May mga previous attacks in 2020 and we've been monitoring their activities uh, and we are confident na ma-address namin yung issue and we could identify those people behind these attacks. Mm -hmm. Sir, soon enough before a possible, before possibly ma-compromise yung mga data ng mga tao in specific websites? Uh, there were claims na mayroon silang exfiltration of certain uh, databases. But it's yet to be proven. They could easily claim that. Uh, kaya lang minsan lag, nagbabrag lang sila. Eh. One of the motives in hacking websites or defacing websites or uh, doing these DDoS attacks is for bragging purposes. Or of course, uh, plain and simple hacktivism. Pag sinabi nilang may mga na-compromise ng databases, we would not, we should not take that hook, line, and sinker. We have to validate that. Kasi madaming reports talaga eh, pero hindi, wala naman pala. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, folks. Thank, Thank you, Trish. Thank you, so just to uh, answer your question, um, the Philippine government has initially targeted the uh, purchasing up to 40 million, but if that could increase depending on ability of the other Western vaccines to actually deliver the vaccines to us. Okay, back to you, Sakraki. Yes, uh, Secretary, uh, tanong mula kay Laila Salaveri of Inquirer, the lawyers and supporters of the activists slain on Sunday have accused the military daw po of blocking the release of the bodies of the activists despite submission of proper documents and payment of uh, fees. The lawyers are concerned that his, uh, this is being done to prevent a for forensic investigation of the bodies. I look into this point. No? I will communicate with um, the authorities, pero as a lawyer with experience on uh, investigation and prosecuting killings, importante po talaga na mas subject to autopsy, no? because physical evidence will not lie. Yung mga tama ng mga bala, depende yung sa trajectory, will indicate if there was in fact um, um, abuse of force that would prove uh, murder. So importante po talaga na matuloy yung autopsy sa mga labi na mga naging biktima. So I look into it. I will call no less than uh, Chief Sinas after this uh, press briefing. And Sir, maybe in a subsequent press briefing, I can tell you what Chief Sinas will tell me. Pero how does Malacanang view this late, uh, latest move of the armed forces? Is this a cause for concern? Okay, so I, I stand corrected. No? I have to call uh, General Sobihana pala. No? Well, I do not know the facts po. And uh, you know naman in law, there is always a presumption of regularity. Siguro po, kaya nga po na aantala yung pag-release is there's a need to subject them to autopsy kasi um, SOP po yan. No? Kapag meron talagang krimen na nangyari, dapat talaga isubject to autopsy. At hindi naman po mga pribadong doktor ang mga nag-autopsy dyan, it has to be accredited government physicians no? such as the PNP lab or the NBI. So let me look into it. I will call po um, General Sobihano after this broadcast. 
Okay. Will this not support allegations that the state is harassing activists? I don't know if there's any harassment po. What is happening is we are investigating and the autopsy is part of the investigation so that we could prosecute and punish the perpetrators if there are any. Okay. Uh, ang susunod mong tatanong, Secretary, si Melo Acuna ng Asia Pacific Daily. Go ahead, Melo, please. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Secretary. Uh, I just have one question for you today. Uh, my question is, you recall the violent incident in 2009 in Maguindanao province. Immediately after that incident, uh, the police elements in the area were all relieved. Do you think uh, it is high time for the government to relieve the police in Samal and in uh, areas where the killings took place last Sunday? I cannot compare it with the Maguindanao massacre, no? Because ang nangyari po sa Maguindanao Massacre, we had about 70 policemen charged as co-accused with um, some local officials. So ganun pong kagrabe yung involvement ng kapulisan sa Maguindanao. And uh, we're talking of, yes, nine, but in separate occasions po. No? So they are in fact victims na limited to one in, a, in an area. So number one, um, the president does not make decisions of this nature. So hahayaan na po natin yan sa hierarchy ng pulisya. Um, that's a decision of uh, Chief Sinas o kung hindi po si Chief Sinas, then yung kanila mga regional commanders. Yeah, thank you. Secretary, I have two questions for the good ambassador from India. Go ahead. Ayan ang mga may init na balita na hinatid natin sa inyo mga kaibigan at nagsalita na nga si Cybercrime cyber Chief Victor Lorenzo na NBI patungkol sa uh, data, data privacy na mga uh, inaukulang tao ng Cybercrime Division. Ayan mga kaibigan at patungkol din naman dito sa uh, pinatay na mayor ay magbibigay ng press briefing si PNP Chief Sinas. Iyan ang sinabi ni Spokes Harry Roque. Kaya mag-abang-abang lang sa maiinit na balita atid sa inyo ng inyong kaibigang Roman Carino LTV. Nagiiwan sa inyo ng magandang umaga, tanghali man o gabi, sa ang sulok ka man na ron, sa mundong ibabaw na ito, magbabalik. And please. Your Excellency, good afternoon and greetings to you. I'm just as interested as anybody else. How much does the Indian government spend for research and development compared to its gross domestic product? Well, thank you. Uh, uh, good to meet you too. Good afternoon. Uh, you know, there's uh, the central government science and technology budget, which provides for all the central institutions. And then there's a lot of research that's currently happening uh, on the part of private companies. Co-vaccine, for instance, was a joint effort by the Indian Council of Medical Research, which is our top uh, body that coordinates all the medical research institutions in India and the National Institute of Virology and the private company. So I, our estimate is that this number is currently not sufficiently high enough. It could be uh, around a percent of GDP at best, so uh, possibly lower. So that, there's a lot, a lot of national attention try and increase that to a level which Joy Belmonte is very sound. But from the point of view of uh, the IATF, we need to tell the people that number one, that the pandemic is still ongoing, that there is still a crisis, and that there is still need of a quarantine, no? because this is a pandemic. Um, there's a psychological benefit to it that people will be reminded that they still have to be careful because a pandemic is ongoing. So by and large, while we appreciate the um, suggestion of um, Mayor Joy Belmonte, perhaps what we will do in the IATF is to simplify um, the do's and don'ts um, for the different regimes as we further reopen the economy. Naintindihan ko po yun kasi yung mga GCQ na bago na po, lalong-lalong na sa Metro Manila, 
also by way of accommodating the uh, mayors na gusto pa rin nilang GCQ although they stand committed to reopen the economy. So we'll work on that po and we'll find out, uh, we'll find a middle ground somewhere. Second question. Question po niya, some senators call for the president to place the country under state of emergency due to African swine fever. Will the president consider this? Is it necessary at this point to declare a state of emergency? Well, the president always considers naman po mga suggestions sa ating policy makers. No? Pero sa ngayon po, ang solusyon nga is yung repopulation at uh, naglaan naman po tayo ng sapat na halaga dyan. At uh, bukod pa sa repopulation, yung pagpasok po ng bakuna at uh, siyempre yung pag-aangkat po no hindi nang baboy sa iba't ibang parte ng Pilipinas at soon po no sa uh, iba't ibang parte ng daigdig no so but uh, point well taken we welcome the suggestion um, it will be considered but it has not been uh, decided upon by the president okay yung third question po niya nasagot niya na secretary about general parliade pa- parlade ng spokesperson NTF LCAC. Ang, ang susunod na magtatanong sa katari si Joseph Morong ng GMA News. Go ahead, Joseph. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to the guest. Sir, sa iyo muna, a um, couple of questions for other reporters. No? Okay, Maurice. Um, for Maurice, sabi nung anak ng uh, mayor sa Kalbayog na they see this na politically motivated yung pagpatay sa kanyang tatay uh, because uh, there have been efforts in the past but prior to the... Uh, we can, we can call it ambush, na ilink sila sa drug list. Um, call your comment, please. I don't have a comment. No? Um, on investigation is ongoing. At uh, kung maalala mo, Joseph, uh, the investigation was already transferred to the NBI because of the possible involvement of men in uniform. No? So like uh, the rest of the nation, inaantay po natin resulta ng investigation ng NBI at ang aking sinasabi lang, dapat talaga malitis at naparusahan ito dahil kinakailang magsilbing halimbawa na habang papalapit ang eleksyon ay hindi dapat po pumapatay dahil pagpatay po, yan po ay kalaban at uh, kabaliktaran ng demokrasya. Kinakailangan map- mapayapang pamimili po na ating mga leaders. Okay, sir. Um, another topic, sir. Si yung PDP, at least some sectors of the PDP, mem- some members of the PDP are pushing for the president to run as vice president to uh, Senator Bongo. Um, your comment? I have no information on that. I will consult the president about this possibility. Pagamat I've heard the president say at one point, no, na siyempre, naging presidente na siya, bakit siya mag-vice president? Pero I don't know if there's been any change. I will consult with him and one of the reasons why I'm here in the Baguette. Hey, yon mga kaibigan. At sabi nga, ay naging presidente na ang Pangulong Duterte, bakit magiging tatakbo pa siya sa pagkabise? Iyon ang sagot daw ng ating Pangulong Duterte. Kaya mukhang malabo ang Duterte-Duterte tande mga kaibigan. Ang pinupusyata nila ay bunggo Duterte naman. Ayan naman, pero sinasabi ko sa inyo, para ang ating inaasam-asam na wealth of humanity or wealth of the nation kailangan nating uh, kailangan ng spiritual wonder boy na magkaroon ng executive power sa pamamagitan lamang po yan na ang spiritual wonder boy ay maging presidente para magkaroon siya ng executive power para maipatupad na, may unlock na ang dapat i-unlock para maipatupad na ang last will and testament. At uh, ang pagkaalam nga ni Madam Imelda na pumunta noon sa Senado ay walang kinalaman ang legislative body. Wala silang... Uh, hindi alam ni Madam Imelda na ang kailangan lang talaga para may patupad yung mga wealth for humanity na yan ay kailangan maging president ang spiritual wonder boy para magkaroon siya ng executive power. Ayan mga kaibigan, kaya sa darating na 2022, 
bagaman nagpahayag na siya ng uh, kanyang uh, pananalita sa kanyang to lead the nation ika nga ay nagpahayag na ng kanyang uh, uh, pagtanggap para maging uh, manguna sa pagbabago at pagunlad ng bansang ito na kanyang kinatatayuan ngayon. Kaya sa 2022 mga kababayan minamahal na mga supporter ng ating idol ng pandemya magsama-sama at magkapit-bisig tayo para ilukluk ang ating idol Francis Leo Marcos. We need, we want him in the government. Ayan mga kaibigan. Kaya hanggang sa muli, ang inyong kaibigang Roman Carinuel TV magbabalik.